guys check out the next level games for all your tcg needs link is down below in the description of the video thanks guys what's up everybody welcome back to team fish knuckles youtube channel so today uh or this week is a special week uh so coming up this weekend is anaheim regionals and it is expanded so I thought, why not? Let's cover all expanded for this week. Um, some people are probably gonna be like, "I hate expanded," but um, we covered a lot about standard. I mean, though, obviously, there's more stuff we can cover about standard. But I want to have fun play expanded this week. I'm not going to Anaheim, but maybe some of y'all are going. Unfortunately, there's not going to be stream either, uh, so that's very sad. No stream, but I want to show some of the potential decks that are getting some hype going into um regionals now what i'm going to try is to do is find lists that are getting first place and that people are also hyping up now this one's not so hyped up but it did win a league cup this past weekend um, i'm pretty sure i know what all four of my decks i'm going to play for this week are but if you're wondering how did i decide i want to do an expanded week well, on the Facebook page, I actually made a post. I said, hey guys, what would you rather see? Would you rather see an expanded week or a regular week? And everybody voted, or a lot of people voted for expanded week. Hold on, I think I could tell what the difference is. Give me one second. So that's the important thing, is go like the Facebook page down below. Um, and then, wait, yeah, the Facebook page down below, I forgot what I said for a second. And that way you can you have your input on what decks we could play. Uh, so it was, uh, it ends in 42 minutes. But right now is 66% expanded and 34% regular week. So uh, it has 125 votes. So like I said, go like the face of page. You can be a part of helping decide on what videos are what. And uh, this is going to be a big part of next year <clears throat> uh, for sure. But guys, here we go. We're going to cover this week off by starting with Sizeswood Garboder. Now this deck was one of the strongest decks in Expanded for a very long time. But it has died off um, for sure. But I think this is all changed with cards like Faba. I think this changed with like... Uh, maybe not so much with Hex Maniac, but it's in a really good position because, you know, there's a lot of decks that are taking abuse of no Hex Maniac. So I was like, no, I'm going to put you in your place. I'm going to uh, item lock you, and I'm going to ability lock you. Now, this list actually got first place, and it was Thane Cutler um, who got first place with this. I'm not sure where. Oh, Bell. Uh, I guess it's New England. Bellevue, New England. I guess that's what it is. Uh, but... He made it to top four, and I know what his match is in top four and everything, but outside of that, I don't know what else he played. Uh, in top four, he played against Archies, which is probably a really good matchup. You just, like, if they don't get a turn one Blastoise, you quake punch them, then they're in trouble. And then at top four, and then the finals, he played against Nick Robinson, who is a um, national champion, and he actually beat him while Nick was playing Buzz Garb Shrine. Uh, so it can't take down Buzz, well, we know that for sure. And they went to a game three, so I imagine it was very, very close. Uh, let me make sure I got this, make sure I got the city right. I don't know, because Nick's from Iowa, and it says New England. Maybe he was up there for his family. I have no idea. But anyways, let's go over this size to a Garbodor deck. Uh, congrats to Thane Cutler for winning this League Cup with the size to a Garbodor. I'm excited. Size to is one of my favorite cards printed, and I'm glad somebody is finally cracking it again so if you don't know if you have no idea what i've been talking about size toad ex is quick punch also little history about size toad it literally um won a finals against his weakness if you notice it is weak to grass jason klasinski beat it in the finals and it caused a ban actually like the next week they actually banned um a card trump card trump card was banned after that tournament so size toad was really really strong especially with trump card anyways little history so size toad was, you know, was a banned deck i guess technically because of trump card but what we're gonna do today is literally we're just quick and punching your opponent can't play any item cards from his or her hand during his or her next turn. And like I said, this is really strong because Archie's Toys is one of the most hyped decks going into this weekend because there's no more Hex Maniac. There's no way to shut down your opponent's abilities every single turn. So, you know, um, Thane was like, all right, you know, there's no more people going crazy with these ability decks. I'm just going to Quake and Punch them, put ability lock, and they can't literally do anything. So, yeah, we're going to try Quake and Punch here today and see how it works. Uh, he played a 4-2-2 Garbital line. He played the Garbage Collection one, put a card from your Discord pile on top of your de deck. What happened there? I have no idea. 2-2 uh, Garbador. We have the Golden Garbatox and Garbodor. It 
I don't think it matters which garbage toxin you use. Um, I, maybe because you play psychic energies, it might be somewhat relevant. But what we really care about is the Trash Lance Garboder. This deck does 20 damage for each item card in your opponent's discard pile. So if your opponent, like, Sycamore's the Junior Poison, a bunch of item cards, you can punish them late game with a Trash Lance because you are playing a 4 2 2 line. Very, very strong. I mean, I imagine that's why you beat Buzzwell. And it's thanks to his Garbodors, of course. Uh, and then one Shaman helps set up just a little bit, because uh, you draw, you have six cards in your hand. You also have Sky Return for 30, and one Tapu Lele for the Wonder Tag to find supporter cards. So that's it. That's all the Pokemon. Very straightforward kind of thing. Uh, one Computer Search for Consistency. One Enhanced Hammer. Uh, four Hypnotoxic Lasers. Flip a coin of heads. Your opponent's act Pokemon is asleep, but they're automatically poisoned, uh, for sure. So that's good. You can put them to sleep. Black Quake can punch them. They can't really do anything. Uh, Stretcher, a special charge, get back your special energies. He played, uh, of course, four Ultra Ball, but he played three VS Seekers. Um, somebody even asked him, he said, why do you play three instead of four? And his answer was, um, three VS Seekers is fine since there's already plenty of draw supporters in the deck. So he said three VS Seekers is fine with that because he played a bunch of draw supporter cards anyway. Uh, three Verbic City Gems. So remember, Quake Punch is only doing 30, <clears throat> but with Poison and Verbank, you're technically doing 3, 4, 5, 6. You're doing 6, and then come back and you take another 30, they take 90, uh, so you can eventually slowly wear down your opponent. You're playing 2 Ace Rollers to heal your size and toes, of course. 1 Colors, because you are going to have a full bench. And there's a new card, Faba. We know what this card does. Choose a tool or special energy card attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon or any stadium card to play and put it in the Lost Zone. Uh, so this is going to help us get rid of those energies, get them in the Lost Zone, and your opponent can't really recover them. Uh, Faba is a fantastic inclusion in this deck. Uh, just being able to Faba, putting special energies in your opponent's Lost Zone is fantastic because they can't get it back with special charge, stuff like that. One Guzma, one Lysander. If you don't know, Lysander brings the Pokemon off the bench to the active, which is somewhat useful in this deck because sometimes you can't, like, Guzma retreat. So that's why you need the Lysander. Really, really nice. Good and expanded. Uh, three in, four Juniper, which is just like Sycamore, and one Team Flare Gun to discard energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. This is going to help out a lot if your opponent is stacking energies on the active that are not special. Uh, three Fighting Fury Belts, so your Scythe Sodes have 40 more HP, and they do 10 more damage. So now your Scythe Sode EX is a 220 HP monster. Uh, four Flawless Stone for that free retreat. Four DC for Quake Punch, and three Psych Energy for the Trash Lynch. So there we go. There is Thane's uh, Scythe Sode Garbodor deck. I know a lot of people are probably hating to see this video, but I really do like this deck. I want to see if it actually does have the potential. I mean, it should easily... Uh, how come I'm struggling? I think it's like this. Why am I struggling playing Spice Toad? Uh, yeah, Size S E. Yeah, that's right. Size of Toad, Garbodor. Good old Size of Garbodor. Classic, good. A lot of people's favorite decks. It helped a lot of people get into the game because you're like, alright, I'm just going to Quake Punch and lock you. Uh, very, very simple strategy, but a very powerful strategy at the same time. Can we also get the 2,000 tokens today? Probably not. <laughs> oh man, I'll be so shook if we did. Alright, so let's go to Size of Toad. Uh, Garbodor, right now it's currently Sunday, so we'll see if we can do all these in one day. Um, we're gonna try to film, we're gonna try to film the majority of videos in one day. Uh, that way you can focus on different videos, because uh, next week I have a, a pretty big project I want to work on for here. But we're planning a sauce, DGK, I don't know how to say their name, but heads, let's go on with it. So we won the coin flip, fantastic, yes. Alright, because we're not really pressured to find their turn one Quake and Punch. But our hand is looking good from the start already. Uh, so Trubbish, Trubbish, press done. On to my, oh wait, we gotta see, they are, uh, they got a Xerneas deck box, a Napoleon coin, and there's a Brooklyn Hill, so they're playing some kind of fighting deck, obviously. Alrighty, so Pokemon go to the active. Uh, now this is what I was kind of concerned about, is like, they just, if, they, if your opponent plays a bunch of basic energies, how can this deck handle that that's my question so press done again um there's a sudowoodo and a ryulu all right so it's a lucario deck all righty so i mean part of me just wants to like, kind of hold this hand uh we can float stone here we can ultra ball discard team flare gun stretcher for a uh, seismitoad and then we could shaman um, I really don't want to discard the stretcher. I want to keep the enhanced hammer so we can discard his special energies. Of course, this has got weakness. So that's really nice. So, and he's weak to psychic. So we're looking good here. I think we're fine. This so yeah, I'm gonna ultra. I'm just gonna discard the stretcher and team flare run. I think we're fine discarding these two. Uh, we're grabbing another side stone here, so we have it for next turn. We could go Tapu Lele and just go in, but. 
don't know how good his hand is. See, this is the problem with, with playing this stuff. Um, let's just grab another toad. Let's put down size toad, and let's just shaman for five. Yeah. I know we put down the Shaman. Lucario can hit it for knockout. That's fine. There's a DCE Lysander. Alright, so right now, let's just hold on to this hand. So let's just press done. We could course. I, I what I want to do next year, next year, next year. Next turn is hopefully top deck like a Verbank. Oh, it's still down a knockout. If we Lysander this guy up and swing into it. Uh Flood's still on the set of Wudo, okay. There's a fighting to Riolu. Choice spin to the Riolu. And an N. Alright, so it gets rid of our hand. Maybe we'll draw into the uh, Guzma Laser DCE combo. I do want to attach. You might be asking why did I not attach the energy? Well, I don't know if he's playing like Enhanced Hammer and then our thing gets destroyed. There is a Landorus being discarded, which is great for him. He doesn't want to hit the water weakness for sure. Okay. And there's another Riolu coming down. Alright, so with this deck, he's really relying on probably like Ace Rollas, and if we can get him out of like making where he can't use Ace Rollas, we're looking really nice. So on our turn, we get a laser. <clears throat> um, <sighs> see, I'm on a laser, trying to put the Sudo to sleep. Let's see here. So heads, okay. <clears throat> we'll Ultra Ball, discard the Juniper and in. We'll find a Garbodor. Now the question is, I think we go for the, the Garbodor Toxin one. Just get that online. There's really no abilities really we, need new, we need to use right now. So get the Garbodor Toxin. So we got the turn two. Garbodor coming in effect. Get rid of Sudowoodo. We'll coerce for seven new cards. Hoping to find a DC. And we do. So we can computer search. Uh, I'm going to discard the N and Juniper for DCE. So let's grab that DCE. Let's see. Do we want to quake it plunge for the knockout? Three, six. We actually don't. So I'm just going to quake the punch here. Maybe we should put down the, the Verbank. It gets, uh... It's weird, right? Because if we put down the Verbank, he could, like, potentially, like, bump our stadium. And I'm going to keep our Verbanks as long as possible. Um, so we got two in the discard pile. There's a Sycamore. And see, this is where he's going to discard some more. You know, he discarded eight. He discarded its Ace Roller and Scoop Up. Okay. There's a Buzzwall coming down. Okay. And just pass on to our turn. Pretty standard stuff there. On our turn, we get a, another Garbodor. Should put down the Garbodor. Um, we'll float stone the other Trubbish. And then we're going to play in here. We're going to hold all this other stuff. Like I said, I don't want to put down a stadium, then he bumps our stadium. Um, so this hand's actually pretty bad right now. Unfortunately, we have nothing really to go off this hand. So we're going to Quake Punch for the knockout. I'm hoping his Lucario doesn't like um, dig a knockout. It could easily, though. So this is the Guzma. Okay, that doesn't really help us any. So since the Brilo does have Lucario involved and start punching us, I forget how much damage it does, unfortunately, right now. Alright, so there is Lucario, GX, or Strike, <clears throat> does 90 more, so 9, 10, 12, 12 34, 15. We do it 150 right now, okay. Alright, so 150. And a Cynthia. So the problem with this is he can cantankerous us. Um, so we got the 150. Alright, so in our turn... Get a VS Seeker. Do we have a, a Sorola? We do have a team at Flare Grunt. <clears throat> but the team Flare Grunt doesn't get us anything. Someone to Laser. Let's see here. So Heads, he's asleep. Put down Burbank. Well, Floodstone. We could Floodstone the Active Retreat, but they could Tanker still just knocks us out. So put that here. Well, VS Seeker. <clears throat> Four colors. Uh, maybe we should hold the VS Seekers. I'm looking for a DC for this guy, obviously, for next turn. Um, yeah, there we go. So fear belt. So put a DC here. <clears throat> we'll put this here. Um, and right now we'll just quick it punch <clears throat> for three. Poison, Burbank, all that shenanigans will kick into play. So tails, it does stay asleep, which is really, really good for us. Okay. All right. So 150. So this is an Ace Rolla. I'm uh, gonna send in the other Riolu. He's going to kind of knock out this turn. Okay. Hmm. Alright, does he how many onions are here? One, two, three, four. So four right now, okay. <clears throat> so he's gonna order strike for knockout. Hmm. So he's played two acerolas. We'll send up the floodstone garbador. On to our turn. Alright, so we get a Faba. Uh Faba literally does nothing right now, unfortunately. Um hmm. 
Like I said, the problem is, is the Katankerous that can happen next turn. It doesn't knock us out. It only does 120. Uh, so we retreat to Slice Toad. Um, we'll Psychic Energy a Shrubbish. Okay. And we'll Quigget Punch for 40. All right, so into his turn. 20, 40, 60, 80, 160. Oh man, we don't think we need a laser and a way to retreat this guy. Hmm, so were you looking down? Okay. Does he find another Acerola here? That'd be so devastating to us. We know he has a fighting unit in your hand because we Acerola here too. Uh, today I'm a Capricorn, sponsored by Chelsea. All right, so let's see what does our opponent do here. Mm. I'm trying to skip this Buzzwell turn as well. If we can take a, take a knock on this guy, we don't have to worry about the Sledgehammer turn, which is really nice. Okay. There's a Fighting Energy active. Will we see a Katankerous? Uh There's a Deontay. It still doesn't take a knockout. So Aura Strike for 30. All right. So on our turn, we get a Psychic. Hmm. thinking about this guys how do we want to do this if we punch him he goes up to 70 negative 210 which knocks us out next turn okay we could just hold <clears throat> the problem is I think his real oh obviously not gonna shame him hmm I wish we had an acerola right now not gonna lie to you um, yeah, let's just, let's touch here. Mm. Yeah, I got a quick and punch here. If I don't, he is just going to, um, he's just going to ace a roller. Mm. The fighting fear belt is hurting us just a little bit. Hmm. This is a strong energy, so we can um, Faba get rid of that that strong energy, send up Seismitoad, or send in um, Garbodor, take a knockout. Let's see what we got here. Got a Psychic energy. So an Enhanced Hammer, uh, we'll save the Faba. Maybe I should have Faba. I mean, he can't get it back. Oh, yeah, he can actually. All right, so Ultra Ball, discard one and two. I feel like we're gonna end up losing this game, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. So send up this guy, okay? So put down the Garboder. We'll retreat. And we'll trash land for knockout, okay? Hmm, 160. Go down to three. We find a laser and a Verbic City gym. Alright, so we're gonna see Ryulu coming up. Does he have a Guzma he could use this turn? Like, Guzma, the Saint Shaman. Uh, Lucario or strike it only does 100 so it doesn't knock us out just right now unless he finds like a way to discard a tool off this guy or something uh, He actually doesn't even knock out our Garbodor. Yeah, he does. That's what I'm talking about Josh, you're silly So Ultra Ball discarding a Latios and then Tapu Lele. Okay, there's some bad cards. There's a Lucario GX How many are in here now? One, two, three four, five, a hundred Focus Sash, okay. Another strong energy. Focus Sash, that guy. Hmm. We've already used just one VS Seeker, so we have multiple VS Seekers left, okay. I should have uh, Fury Belted the Shaman. That way he could stay alive longer if need be. So we'll send up this guy on our turn. Let's we'll see what we top deck. Uh oh. We'll put down. Faba to discard this. Um, right now, I'm just going to press done. I don't want to put down um, laser. Let's see. Three, four, five. All right. So let's see. We can put a card on top of our deck. So I'm going to retreat into this. I'm a garbage collection. To put a VS Seeker on top of our deck. 
<clears throat> That's what we're gonna do. And the next time we get BS Seeker. Okay. The dick and knockout, he'll need um, a way to treat this guy and a lot more stuff, for sure. <laughs> Alright, so we're not gonna talk about a VS Seeker. We could grab N, which N puts him to one. I think we go for Colorus and just try to find a Garb Boater. And that's what I think. I think that's probably the best play. Two, three, four, five, six, 120 right now. Okay. 120, 30, 40, 50, 60. He doesn't get knocked out immediately. That's another bummer. Um, we'll see what he does here. Does he have any more energies? He's out a couple already. Um, am I disconnected right now? I don't know. All right, so strong energy active, okay. There's an Ultra Ball. Discarding a choice and then in. Okay. Maybe for down the Bacario. Okay, Ryulo coming to hand. So now, how many, how many in here now? Uh, Sycamore. Okay. Oh, man. Floatstone, that guy. Or strike for 50. Alright, so on our turn, we get a VS to your course. Hmm. Let's see. We could go for the Lucario, like, Verbink Lasers. So we got the Verbink Lasers, so we'll go with that. Tells, unfortunately. Oh, man. How do we want to do this, guys? We can VS Seeker for N. Which might be our best thing to do. Hmm. We get three. But we could sky return this turn if we top deck a DCE. So let's go for the end play. Let's put him to one. We get three. Let's see what we get here. Okay. So we're going to retreat into the Garbodor. Press. We'll put down the other Garbodor. We'll press. Done. Poison damage will kick in. <clears throat> Alright, it's so on our opponent's turn. Karina. So this is going to grab him Lucario for sure. Hmm. <clears throat> but does he have an energy in hand? He can grab Karina and a VS Seeker, and that will pretty much guarantee him everything. Okay. Um, because he's got plenty of energies left, right? He's got one, two, three, four. He's only played four energies so far. Five. Okay. There's his Lucario. There's his Focus Sash. Okay. There's the oh, and energy. Great. Focus Sash. That guy. He's got the Lucario. So you see, Aura Strike for fifty. Taking the 30. Alright, on our turn. Get a DCE. Hmm. Okay. So. We get DCE this guy. Retreat into Shaman. Sky return for 30. And just hope he doesn't top deck an energy or supporter card or anything um, that let him set up this guy. So set up this guy. Still ticking away. Okay, 30 damage there. Because what we can do next turn is we can Ultra Ball for a slice switch. Quick and punch him. Okay. And he has two cards in hand. Does he find a supporter card or something like that? Let's see. What does he got, guys? Hmm. I'll take another 30 come back to us and Quake a Punch him for the knockout. Um, he can send up the, the Octillery, which has the Flood Stone. So there's Lucario coming down. Does he have Guzma in hand? Did he slow rolls? Does he have energy? Oh, what the heck? What the? Oh, my goodness. Well, what a top deck. All right. Well, like I said, my plan was the Flood Stone, Retreat, Ultra Ball, the Shaman, whatever. Keep the Verbic in hand. Um, grab a side stone, Quake a Punch him. Um, it's just, yeah, that was it's a little rough. It's a little rough. A little rough there. Hmm. Alright, so in the game number two. So we do struggle. Like I said, what I worry about is like those f 
fighting um, decks that had just had like you just like mainly attach these energies. Um, that deck will lose to like Trevenant, um, which is gonna be really big as well. And Anaheim, I don't think Lakari is gonna do that well. Unfortunately, I think it does probably lose to like Keldeo Blastoise. Like they just do so much damage. The problem with Size Two is you really want to deal with those item base decks. Um, which that one does have a Karina, it does have way outs, and we can't really get rid of those fighting energies as easily as those special energies, right? So, whatever. On to game number two. Stop making excuses, Josh. Just get ready for everybody to tell you that you're bad at Pokemon. Hey, little tidbit. I did make top four this week uh, weekend, putting me at a 141 points. If you have more points to me, comment down below. Let me know. <clears throat> Is that what YouTubers do? Say comment down below. I feel like they do, right? Put both sides to it down. Press done. Okay. Let's see here. Shame Bay Star. I think this is Zork Garboder. All right. I think that's what it is. Which I think we should have a fine matchup. We're Quaggy Punching. We're getting rid of his like enhanced hammers with Faba and stuff like that. Uh, we do have three Verbase to counter his Sky Fills. We can Quaggy Punch him. I think this is one of like I think Size to is it okay now he has the dark energy and I'm I'm confused. I'm confused now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm confused. Alright. So we'll see and we'll get a new hand of six. There's DC laser. Um I think this deck might benefit from playing um Shadow Trion. Shadow Trion lets you reuse your Oh, it's a Dark Ride deck. Oh, is this Dark Ride not gonna deal? Dark Ride Nakadale is another good deck, guys. We might see that deck again. Uh, the only problem is we already covered it once. Oh uh, no, this looks like straight Dark Ride. But, Strike Dark Ray also does not like Size Toad. Be real honest, it does not like seeing a Size Toad quick of punching in its face. Um, with this deck, we can get down a Garbotoxin Garboder. He can't reuse, like, Resura Restoration. He can't use his lasers. He can't have free retreat with Dark Cloak. It becomes a very, he can't use Dark Patch, Max Elixir, any of that stuff, because we're just gonna Quakey Punch him. We're just Quake, 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 and he's in trouble. So Dark Ray, Dark Ray. Dark Ray. Restoration, maybe? Or does he hold off? So, Max Elixir? Okay. Let's see what he gets here with this Max. So, nothing. Okay. Alrighty. So, pass on to our turn. Alright. So, we're going to have a pretty easy turn here. We're just going to Ultra Ball, discard Juniper, and Seismitoon. We're going to grab a Trubbish this turn. We have one prize. That's fine. We'll grab the Trubbish. We'll put down the Trubbish. We'll put a DC on this guy. And I'm actually just going to Quake a Punch. I'm not going to go for the Laser Psychic Energy right now. I'm just going to hold off on that. Uh, because we... 6, 7. We actually can't knock out the Shaman next turn either. But I don't want to waste my laser on the Shaman. I want to use one of his Dark Eyes, which he probably is not going to send up this turn. Uh, we might just sit here for a little while and just wait. So there's a Dark Energy active. Do we see a Sky Return here? So Sycamore, discarding a Field Blower. Alrighty. So he's got three in the discard pile. With Dark Eyes, they do have Resistance. So a little bit harder to knock him out. But if he goes for this, the Sky Return, putting the Shaman back to his hand, doing 30, he's got to manly attach all these energies again, which is not what he really wants to do. And, yep, yeah, there we see the Sky Return. Doing the 30. Going to send a Dark Ride with the Dark Pulse for sure. And this is where we have to have our turn, right? We need to go, like, Psychic Energy on the Toad. We need to find our Garber Toxin. We need to put him in a situation. And we're going to put it here because we can use that later. We can Ace Roll it. There's a Laser. Tells. Well, Juniper. I don't want to commit on this Trubbish because I want this one to be a Garber Toxin. And we don't find the Garber Toxin, unfortunately. Um, so all we can really do right now is Quicken Punch, which is still really good. Like, you, you don't know how good Quicken Punch is until you start playing against these decks, right? Like, what can he do now? He can attach a Dark Energy and just sit there and just look at me like, alright, uh, I guess I'll just Dark Energy and pass. And we got Team Flare going, we can just cut the Dark Energy to be active. Like, this is where, like, this deck becomes really, 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 really good. Because you're just constantly, you just quick and punching him, get rid of his, his energy. He's going to go up to 50. There's an end. Get rid of our team flare ground, unfortunately. But what we're hoping for is a fur bank. We're hoping for laser. We're hoping for our um, fighting fear belts. We're hoping for Garbodor, which we have. We've got Ace Roller that we could discard this turn. We could put down Trubbish with a psychic energy. I don't know if our, um, what is it? If our rescue stretcher is prized, so see the darker code up. So he's gonna free treat between these two over and over again, right? But we're eventually going to lock him out of that. So there's the Evatol. I think I would rather retreat to Evatol and while you load up your dark eyes. 
But that's neither here or there, right? Um, so, you know, Ultra Ball discard one and two. See, is Stretcher in the deck? It is. So I, I'm going to grab the Garbage Toxin here. I'm going to go Garbage Toxin for sure. We'll grab Garbage Toxin. We'll put down the Garbage Toxin. We'll put down the Trubbish. Attach a Slack Energy. And um, just a second more. We have plenty of Flow Stones. So hopefully we hit one of those. And we got it. All right. So we'll Laser. Trying to poison that Dark Art, of course. Now he can't retreat this turn. So that's good. So I think this laser is a little better than the last one. We'll put that here. Um, how many in, how many items here? So just three right now. I'm not gonna commit this guy because I don't want to get stuck in the active. And right now I'm trying to quake a punch for 30, poison 40. We have yet to find our verbinks, which is kind of unfortunate. Now the good thing about this is he can't retreat. He has to goose him around this poison. Um, so the poison is gonna start racking up. Like I said, we had our Burbank. We do a lot more damage, but we don't have it just yet. Uh, the dark into dark pulse. Like I said. That's pretty much what you want to do. You want to love this dark, in, this dark on the bench, and just hope, like, hey, all right, let's hope our fingers are crossed, and let's see what we can do this turn. Um, that's what he's gonna end up doing with that dark ray. But he can't restoration. He can't use dark patch. He can't use max elixirs. He can't use anything like that. Um, there's a Guzma. Uh, what's he gonna send up? Yeah, I don't think you send up this guy. I think that's a terrible idea. I think once again, you should have put an energy on this, and you should start a Bliven wing and. Um, you could have got two energies down that turn, um, but that's not me. It's him. All right, so put this here. We'll play. Put it down this Trubbish. Um, he seems like he's really content on knocking out my Garbodors, which is not a bad idea. That's definitely what he wants to do. Um, all right, so we will just retreat into this guy, and we'll just keep on Quake a bunch for 40. No lasers. Uh, I could have committed the Burbank. Once again, I don't want him to bump my stadium right now. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we're probably going to see another Dark Energy to this guy. Remember, he can't use Ultra Balls. He can't use VS Seekers. He can't use anything like that. So this is a course for eight. That's a pretty good card right there. Needs to find some Dark Energies. Where does he commit it to? Maybe you start pounding this guy. 90 30 is pretty good. Uh, 20 40. He's only doing 60 right now. There's 80. Okay. So we're going to see 80 coming down. Dark Pulse for 80 damage. All right. So we have 110. Uh, so he's not going to knock us out next turn, which is great. I'm going to come into DC here. I'm going to put down the Verbank. Uh, fear about this guy. And, and what I'm looking for is lasers. I need a, I mean, I need a laser this turn for sure, um, which we do get. But at the price of what, though? That's my question. I think it's fine. Still just computer search discard. This size toad and slacking energy, grabbing a laser, not a stretcher, laser. Once again, this deck could benefit from playing um, Shadow Triad. I think it's a great, great inclusion in this deck. But uh, we're just we're just testing today, right? So there's some stuff. There it is. Now <clears throat> the good bit. Oh man, I was gonna say the good thing. If he stays asleep, he gets knocked out coming dark turn. Um, that didn't happen though. But when he retreats this turn, he will lose. All the energy off this guy. And then he's only doing 20, 40, 60. Um, do we have Ace Sorella? We do have Ace Sorella. So we get Ace Sorella this guy. Send up New Toad and keep punching him. He hasn't played an Ace Sorella this deck. These decks might play like one. Once again, I think it's a good thing to retreat into this guy. Discard your energy. Send up this. Start a Blim Wing in. And I think that's the better play. But we see him still not doing that. Um, he's, he's pretty content with just attacking just with his Dark Eyes. I don't know if he's like a newer player with expanded so we need to discard a bunch of item cards uh one two three four five six seven all right so do 140 um we don't knock this out just yet because of resistance unfortunately all right so see the dark card coming up we're just gonna see a dark pulse only doing 60 not knocking us out so this is the one good thing with acerola with the stack you're just gonna like all right i'm just gonna via seeker for acerola we'll pick up this guy we could go team flare grunt uh, but I think Ace Roll is probably better in this situation. We'll pick up this guy. We'll send him the Seismitoad. We'll put down Seismitoad. We'll put down Fear Belt. We'll put down DCE. And we'll just go for another Quakey Punch here. We're going to slowly just whittle at him. And uh, we're going to eventually just win this game. Uh, it's going to be a very long grinding game. So there you go. You can see him finally can see there. Um, I think he had 
Uh, 100 damage left, which once again would click a punch, and then we could laser for knock on the next turn. Uh, both those guys were very damaged. The Garbodor could eventually take a knockout. There's no way he's going to be able to like, get enough energy on the board. And like I said, that's, that's the kind of decks you want to see. Is these very item-based decks. Expanded's very, very, very big <coughs> on the... Um, own the item game like we, we know it, it is right um so it looks like we're playing um maybe a lost march which i'd be interested to see how this deck handles lost march we do have weakness um so we lost the coin flip okay i'm out of coffee oh man okay so we get a mulligan i mean is this lost march I saw Fairy, which makes me think of, like, Clefki and stuff like that. Our hand is not good. Okay. We got two mulligans. Okay. Douse Machine. Oh, it's Gardevoir. Oh, it's Mega Gardevoir. Okay. Uh, it's Mega Gardevoir Giratina. All right. So, send up this thing. Now, how do we handle with this? I think we're fine with this matchup. Like, once again, if we get the... Um, if we get the Garb 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 online, he is in very big... And he starts with Hoopa. That's definitely not who he wants to start with. Uh, see Hoopa is scoundering here. Uh, this deck does play Dimension Valleys. It might play like one Skyfield. Um, we have covered this deck before. Um, it's very gimmicky. It's like... It's cute. I'll give you that much. It's cute. It's not like super broken, right? So see a Guard of War coming down. A Guard of War coming down. Okay. Uh, Fair to Guard of War. Cynthia for new hand of six. Okay. It's like back the old days. How many ends and how many pawns do you play? If you've been playing for that long, you know what I'm talking about. But as of right now, our hand is looking terrible. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, so pass it our turn, okay? Um, there's an Ultra Ball top deck. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we're going to Ultra Ball with these two. Put the Goose in the discard pile. We can be a secret for it. We'll grab a Toad. Um, put down to okay. You see right there. You knew immediately as soon as I grabbed the toad, he was like, I don't wanna play. I don't wanna play this matchup. It's probably really, really bad for him, I imagine, right? Um he can't use he can't like recycle stuff easily. He can't reuse his gear teams from the garbage line. Uh, we're gonna quickly punch him and just whittle away. He can't reuse like Acerola's max potion stuff like that. So that's another bad matchup for my opponent. Um, especially once we get the Garbage Toxin line, he can't use his Giratinius. He can't use his Executes. He can't use his Hoopas. He can't stretch her stuff back in the deck. So yeah, Gardevoir. We usually have is that matchup because the Gardevoir takes like you know maybe the first two prize cards, maybe the first four. But once you stabilize, your opponent can't do anything. Like they're gonna punch you for like 110, 110. Like they're gonna constantly do that. But um, you're going to eventually knock out one, and then they're going to be in trouble from there. So here we go. All right, on the game four, why do we play another one? I don't know, because I like playing Seismic Garbodor. I know a lot of people probably like this deck. Uh, it's really weird with Seismic Garbodor. You either hate it or you love it. Um, <clears throat> there's some people who don't care about it, and they're just weird. I'm talking to you. I'm just kidding. Not you. You're, you're amazing. All right, so this hand's actually pretty good. We can Ultra Ball, Acerola, whatever, grab a Toad, uh, Laser, Floatstone, Retreat, Quirk and Punch. Oh, it's Greninja! I was going to cover this deck! Alright, so with the, with Greninja, we can one-shot him this turn. Oh, man, if we find the Verpink, the Toad, we just go crazy. We're looking good. Um, um, they can't. We can... Okay, so we just need a pass. So his hand's probably really good. Um, that's usually the case with Greninja, right? So we top deck a shaman, which you know we can put this here. We can ultra ball discard one and two. I'm gonna use shaman this turn. I'm gonna dig. I'm gonna dig. I'm gonna get this knockout. We got two verbings in the deck. I should have saw how many um should have saw how many DCs in there. So we go. He goes to night night. Doesn't matter. We'll shaman for six. Yep. Uh, all right, there's DC. Oh man. Well, put this here. Retreat. Quake it punch for forty. I know he's gonna evolve this turn. Um, which is why I didn't put the like fear ball. Like it could. Like it maybe, but he he's gotta have the the frogadier in hand. See, I told you he's got frogadier in hand. I wanted to say the fear bell. Um, just in case he like. 
I don't know. Well, he, if he gets rid of the tool card, he's getting rid of the, the trubbish. So I don't know why I held on to the, the um, fear belt. Oh, well. We'll see what happens here. We'll see. All right, so with this deck, um, if you don't know, Greninja Break, like, it has a billion HP, like 160. It has a really cool abil uh, ability, but that's about it. So he's got one prize. All oh, right. So now we'll just, I guess, oh, man. Yeah, we take a knockout regardless. That's good. I would have hated myself if, if like, the fear belt mattered there. Uh, so Psyche like, Energy you know, on, okay, cool. We'll see another Frogadier. His best play is to go bubble and hope he paralyzes us. I'll be real honest. That's his best play. And then he can, like, get rid of the Floatstone and then that kind of thing. So Sycamore. All right. Discards two. Discards a Starmie as well. It gets rid of Field Blark. So this is Greninja. There's a Tapu Fini. So we're going to see a Water G and we're going to see a Tapu Storm GX happening right now. Yep. He's going to shuffle our card back into the deck. Alrighty. So we'll send him Shrubbish. I mean, our hand is pretty bad. Uh oh. Um. Retreat to this. Put this here. And we're in a garbage collection. I'm gonna hold my toad right now. Um. Yeah, grab it in. I'll put the toad down next turn. I don't want to commit it just right now. Um, that way, if he does get a Greninja break, he'll start, like, sh um, hitting my Toad. Um, so I don't want that happening. Yeah, that's, I really don't want that to happen at all. Now, um, he could Greninja break and knock out the Trubbish of the Floodstone. That's not a bad idea. Oh, he actually could knock out both Trubbish this turn. Yeah, he can, actually. There's a treat into this guy. He can Moonlight Slash for 60, Greninja break this guy for 60. There's a dive ball. Does he have two water in his hand? Uh-oh. There's the break, like I told you guys. We could be in trouble. <coughs> There's going to break. Giant water shuriken. There we go. 60 there. Uh-oh. Mm. All right. We got ourselves in a pickle, guys. Maybe he doesn't have anything after that. Oh, there's a splash energy. Alrighty. Now, does he pick it up or keep it on the guy? So he's going to keep it on the guy, which I think is a huge misplay because now we can enhance hammer that off. But we're honest. He did take a double knockout the turn, so uh, maybe I should have put down the toad that turn. Uh, put this down. Fear belt in. <laughs> All right, so our hand is still okay. Like, we can Floatstone. DCE. Laser? I'm trying to make sure he doesn't attack us next turn. Well, that's not good. Um, because if he Shadow Stitch us, we're in trouble a little bit. Because we can't use Lele next turn. Uh, there's the 40. Poison kicking down for 50. All right, so into his turn. Let's see, what is he going to do here? He's got five cards in hand. He got We got rid of the Starving, which is really nice. Um, all right, so we'll see what he does here. All right, so there's another Greninja coming down. He can use Greninja Break still, which is scary. He do 160 now between turns. So Giant Water Stricken, the active. Okay. Let's see what else he's got here. There's course for five. Hmm. So retreat to this Greninja. Okay. Water energy. Does it go for Shadow Stitching or Moonlight Slash? He's going for Moonlight Slash here. Put the energy back into his hand. So I think this turn... What do we top deck? A VF Seeker. Yeah, we're going to Lele. Yep. For an Ace Arola. Okay. We're going to Ace Arola the Seismitoad. Sin and Shaman, put down Toad, this, 
this retreat punch. Okay, yeah, this would be a lot better if we had our Garbodors. A double knockout, yeah, I, I was silly, but I didn't have a support card. I don't know what my next card would have been if it was been a support card. We were just in a bad situation there. Hmm. All right, so what I'm hoping he does is he goes through the, the trap and he, like, knocks out the shame and the exercise, and then with VSA gear for end up to two. That's what I'm hoping for. Now, remember, he does have quite a few water already discarded. He has five already discarded. Most of these lists just play, like, six water energies. So if he keeps, like, discarding his water energies and he doesn't play, like, Fisherman or something, he's going to be in trouble because, remember, his Starmie's already in the discard pile. So you can see he's trying to think here. What does he do? So since of the Grenade Break, okay. There's a giant water shuriken. 60 there. Okay. Now the question is, <laughs> do we go for another ace roll play? Water energy. Okay. Fishman. Oh, I told you guys he's going to fishman me. Alright, so we're going to end this turn. Man, I knew he was going to play fishman. I told you guys he was going to do that. All right, so we need to go hit in this turn. Get rid of all those water energies out of his hand. Hmm. For 80. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be in trouble here. Um, Via Seeker for N. All right. Let's see. We'll be fine here. So we're in here. We get a new hand. He gets four. We get five. Okay, we get a laser. Um, put this down. Laser finger cross. Dang it. Uh, we'll put a psychic energy here. And we'll quake it punch. Alrighty, it's not looking good for us, guys. Um, we had the misplay. We double knocked out the trubbishes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If we had those guys, we, it would have been a different story. We would probably easily win this game because he can't giant water shark in. Uh, but let's see what we have. He's got five cards in hand. He might not have any energies. If he gets two, he's got the knockout. If he gets one, he could just like Moonlight Slash for the knockout. Uh, so we should treat to that guy, okay? He's got the Greninja Break, okay? Hmm, okay. Water energy. Moonlight Slash for the knockout, okay. So we're gonna send a shame. He's got the Floodstone. Goes down to two. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll course here. Now, the problem is, if he's got double water, he wins. He gets knocked out Shaman. Um, yeah, he's, he's got it. Like, there's no way. So, yeah, there we go. Um, unfortunately, yeah, we made, made a huge misplay. He's got it. I could have ultra ball for Trubbish, but uh, there's no way he doesn't have two water injuries. I'm just going to let him have the win here. He's got it. Don't don't slow roll me. You got seven cards in hand. We know you have one water energy. You shuriken the shaman. All right, we're just gonna go see it here. So there we go. I mean, I know he's got it. All right, guys. Well, there you go. There's uh, day number one. Went two for two with size toad. That game, like I said, if we would, I mean, we just didn't really have anything. Cause look at his deck. I mean, he's got one one Starmie. <clears throat> he's got oh, he's got two fibblers. Okay, which didn't really matter. Played seven. I mean, he probably had outs, of course. I, I'm pretty sure he had a way to take a knockout this turn. He played no VS Seekers. He plays no VS Seeker. He plays. Whoa, so his deck is like, all right, I'm going to for sure beat um, item lock decks. I got four in. I got four Cynthia. I got two cores. He's got four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No VS Seekers. So a very, like, I am not going to lose to item-based decks. We play three of a Sotus. I guess he's going for that turn two. Maybe his deck's more to beat, like, Trevenant. Um, you see he's got the Rough Seas, which helps against Trevenant. So Greninja is definitely a good play against Trevenant. I, once again, I don't know how this deals with Archie's toys. I guess you are, like, like once you're set up, you're good to go. Like, you're one-shotting Archie's toys. Um, you're going to hear me talk about Trevenant. You're going to hear me talk about Zork. You hear me talking about Archdoids a lot because those are three big decks, which size to a Garbodor can beat those three. Trevenant is a little bit harder, but they 
so they they struggle so much against item lock it's not even funny but now they have faba and stuff like that as well um so i think that's probably your worst matchup if you're playing size to garbiter but when, if you get to turn turn one eva stone or if you get to turn one flowstone on a trubbish you get the garbiter down then you can easily beat trubnant um because there's like they can faba your flowstone and that's pretty much it uh, they got an off to their one faba um, to get rid of that and you could double flip on turn one then you're just like golden and you're just going to win that game um so yeah i think size of garbador even though we you know struggling against lucario i just know lucario is going to do good um i'm 100 percent sure there's no way lucario is going to do good um i think this deck does take down everything else though i think it takes down all the hype decks like, it takes down the three the three big three if you don't know is trevenant archie's and a Zork variant. This deck can easily take down those decks if you don't dead draw. Um, unfortunately, we did see that in the last game. Uh, we had a garbage collection to end, or we just we didn't have anything. Um, <clears throat> so maybe that was the downfall of that game, but not getting three Trubbishes down. That's pretty much, like I said, we were in a bad situation. That's the only route. But guys, I still think Sizeful Garbador is a great deck. Um, and easily, your opponent's going to easily like hate you. And you're going to get those easy wins. So I think if you are going to Anaheim, definitely look at this deck. Uh, congratulations one more time to Thane Cutler. I think it, it is a really, really good deck. And I'm excited to see if Sizeful Garbador will make an uh, appearance. Um, I don't know if I am going to cover the, one of the, the three big decks. Because everybody's pretty much covered Arch Choice, um, Trevenant, and uh, Zork. So maybe we'll see four different decks. I think can handle those three decks. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for another expanded deck. Alrighty, bye.